Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the Safe Hour. Jumping in again for another run and we are going to do a greed mode run as someone. Um, who's got a really good greed mode unlock? Jacob and Ezao have a, a really good greed mode unlock, don't they? I think. Let's give that a go. Let's give that a go. Um... Now, we do start with uh, Twins and Broken Glasses, which I really, really like as these guys. Um, we also got the D20 off the bat. Okay. All right, then. All right, then. Um, we do get the double items here. So, we want to go with... Um, you want that. You want that and that. Okay, this is a very good start. <laughs> this is a very good start. Also, let's push this into position. Probably could have got a lot more out of that, but <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. It is what it is. Okay, right, we'll definitely be doing D20 shenanigans, that's for sure. Well, yeah, it's not like things aren't going to be tough still. Twins doesn't help a ton. Broken glasses is like, I don't know if having two sets of broken glasses is like super powerful or not. I'm not really sure, but it's nice to have. Like, as characters that I just detest otherwise, it is a buff that I welcome heavily because these characters are just not fun to play normally <laughs> okay things are going reasonably well so far yeah i think broken glasses is like a a, a small chance like a 10 percent or 25 percent chance for um a for an item room to have a mystery item in it like we just had there. I don't, like I said, I don't know if having two sets of the glasses increases that chance by a ton or not. But for the most part, I want these guys to have the extra chance to get other items. And it being random is a nice, like, downside. To keep it somewhat okay. Right, seven cents plus, um, one, two, three, four, five. And we can get the D20 off the bat here. Grab ourselves a key as well. Okay. Slightly annoying. Um, this isn't what I wanted to do, but it actually kind of worked out. I don't like all the webbing in here. Okay. Cool. Right. Away we go for this one then. Away we go. Probably shouldn't have even bought the key to be honest. I would have had a higher chance of just getting a key by re-rolling. I think that Algis thing, but it gave us both a holy mantle, you know. That Algis rock. I don't know where else we would have got it from. Unless your soul gives one, but I don't think it does. Ow. Well, that's one of them gone already. Didn't expect it to last long, but I was hoping more than a single room. Oh, fuck's sake, them guys are disjointed and they're picking up coins. Obviously not what I wanted to happen. Okay, um... Go for this. I'm definitely still gonna take Angel Deal here though. This is a very easy boss rush, um boss fight, sorry, for the devil deal. Anyhow, we are gone. So far, so good. 
So far, so good. The doubling of items is clearly uh, quite common. Maybe a little too common. Thinking she is is very good for us. Yeah, okay, maybe it's a bit too common. It seems to be happening literally every single time. Maybe, maybe a little strong. <laughs> right, oh, the D6. Baby. Okay, although I don't do I even want the D6. Anyways, pinking shears. Pop that bad boy. No, he's taking my holy mantle. Oh, I lost it anyways. Although the body still has it, so... I don't know what to think about that. Yeah, but having having two sets of the um, of the glasses might be a little strong. It seems to be doubling the chance. I do think it, that's how it works, at least. I need to I need to read the description to make sure. So we do have one character with flight and one character without now, which is always annoying. Also, uh, twin seems to be doubling Willow on occasion, which is pretty nice. I'm liking that. Yeah, maybe having the the twins and the uh, and the broken glasses is like a bit much, but I don't mind because like these characters are normally just not fun to play, so giving them a bonus isn't too bad. Fifty percent chance of adding an extra blind item. Um, fifty percent chance to reveal a blind item. Okay, so yeah, if, if this if this is like stacking to give you a hundred percent, it's very very strong. Thinking she is is uh, going wild right now. <laughs> Might as well grab that, that bombs. No battery charge in here. That's good. I will take that. That is also good. I will take that. That's not so good. D20 breaks are kind of difficult if you don't have a battery charge, though, because you can't really go infinite. You just kind of get a bunch of stuff and lose a bit of money. <laughs> Isn't the ideal way for this to work. Oh my god. Oh my god. Boom. Thank you for those. Okay. Um, I think that's it for this floor. Yeah, I don't really know how to properly D20 break, I'll be honest. <laughs> I forget. I think I think I need a battery charge, don't I? <laughs> Press the blinds. We know what we're getting. This room's annoying. Be good stuff. Yeah, we're literally getting double items every single time. I think that's maybe a bit strong. Did we lose? Fire rate and damage, you... You bastard. <laughs> Where's all the goddamn battery charges? Did they change it to make battery charges like really uncommon or something? Because I never see them anymore. There we go, we finally got one. Okay. Thinking she is will do some good work too here. I, I really, I have to say that the, the twins, just having the twins is really nice. But yeah, I think removing one of the glasses would be a good idea. I accidentally picked up a penny there, that's not good. Need to rearrange ourselves, ow.
Okay. Yeah, I really like having twins. Twins for like extra familiars is really fun. Again, though, I don't, th th maybe they shouldn't both have twins. I don't know. It's it's it's, it's difficult to balance. I, like I do agree that making these characters a lot more powerful is a good thing because I just don't enjoy playing them otherwise. Um, and I realize it makes completion marks easier, but really these mods are made for people that have done their completion marks, so I don't really factor that into my decision making about like balance. Because yeah, like it's made for people that have probably done their completion marks and like want to return to characters they otherwise wouldn't. Okay. Do you have a battery charge here? Right. Now... Buy a battery charge. And go again. Stop picking stuff up, you goddamn fool. And go again. Soul Heart will give to you. That's a dime. Nice. Okay, the D20 brick is slightly working better now. Slightly coming together. And we do that. Unfortunately, not getting a ton of great stuff out of it, though. Picked up those bombs by mistake. I'm going to be doing that a lot. I'm going to be picking up stuff by accident. A lot. I'll pick up pennies, goddammit. Oh, we got a token there, which means we can do this. Double that. Very, very nice. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. Hanged Man is something I want to keep. The Luck Penny there as well, I'll take that. Although Luck isn't actually that valuable in this mode. Um, boom. Money is climbing. Slowly but surely, money is climbing. And we go again. This is going to be a little bit of a, of a long-winded thing here, but it's worth it for the game break. Did get an item there. Red box was, is, isn't just, yeah, a bunch of soul hearts. Soul health is looking good now. Right, let me actually just use this guy here. An item. Mom's eye, nice. Okay. Go again. Um, yeah. Keep this rolling. Broken record is kind of interesting. Doubles of items. Only thing is, I wouldn't say we particularly need it. Boom. Golden Bombs is lovely, of course. Bring, very nice. Soleon of Apollyon, I don't think we need. This saves us a thingy. Get out any chests. Golden Bombs again. Okay, all we want is more chests to fill up the room more and more. 
Toy box. Hell yes. Pretty good stuff. I don't know what cheese does, but I have it now. I don't know what the keys do either. Um, the crossed keys. Oh, that was a good chest. Okay. Got some very good stuff going there. And we go again. Oh, this is beautiful. I do I do love a D20 break. Greed mode, they, they are very fun. Takes a little bit of doing. Takes a little bit of patience. But my oh my. Is it mighty good. Automatically smelt and pick up. Devil room items are free, but can only, only one to take it. That's kind of interesting. I'm not going to take it right now, but kind of interesting. Battery charge down there. Old Saccharoonie. We're almost at the point where we can start spending money now. Extension cable's kind of interesting. Okay. Let's do like one more and then we'll try spending some money, I guess. Golden penny in here. Nice. Oh, I don't have any keys. Okay, let's pick up some keys. Didn't think about keys, did I? Another item? Lots of items so far from the golden chests. Decent trinket. Another item. Okay, let's spend some money. I realize we can't see our items right now, so this is a bit risky. Two of the same active. God damn it. That's not what I wanted at all. Razor, no thank you. Right, take our originals back and get back to farming. Cool. <laughs> right, quickly do the golden penny. Oh, we got the Golden Penny mod on. I forgot about that. Right, um, okay. Then we go back to you, I think? Yeah, there you go. So we've got another token there. Do we have a good way to spend that token? Um... Quickly find a secret room here. Do we know where secret room is? Curved horn. It's in here, isn't it? God damn it. Why do I have to be in here? Okay, I'll keep that. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Um, right, okay, and then I want to do this. Corpse flower, good stuff. Get out of here. Then... Damn it! Oh, I picked up a red heart. I was trying to get the token. Fuck's sake. Keep that.
We've gotten like all of the chest items so far that we could possibly get, I think. A quarter, nice. Dog tooth. Okay. We're getting to the point of it being a bit ridiculous now. Not mean I'm gonna stop. Two are diamonds! Hell yes. Oop, random smelted trinket. Hell yes. Strength badge? <laughs> Hell yes. Smooth stone as well, beautiful. I think we've gotten to the point of now being like in a good spot to stop, but it's it's very hard to stop, you know. Right, let me just get rid of this fly before I walk into it by accident. Got echo chamber, baby. Dark one's not bad. To be fair, Dark one's actually not great, to be honest. He's gonna end up um, sealing our hearts on the floor that we want to reroll. Right. I'm back now, y'all. Right. Okay. Um, I think at this point. Let's get one more reroll and then we'll, we'll bounce. Um, boom. Cool, let me just dip out of here. Where's our card gone? We had a card at some point. There it is. Nope, that's not the card. We had a reversed card at some point. Where's that gone? I think I might have rerolled that by accident. Oh well, I guess. Dude, there's still. How is there still more items? How? There's still more! This is crazy. Right. We've almost got them all now. I think we're in a good spot to just do the boss now. I don't even know how strong we really are. We're not like crazy strong, I don't think, but... I'd have to be pretty happy about. The devil deal. Why? I don't care. I'm taking both. Right. Away we go. With 40 bombs, 20 keys. 40 cents. It's all, it's all looking good. They've cast the unknown again. Why? Yeah, we have Cast the Unknown again. Blank card, okay. That's pretty spicy. Ooh, the champion thing's really good on this mode. Okay, let's leave it there for now. Right, let's go. We probably don't need to do another game break at this point. Especially on a floor that, again, doesn't have um, our items visible. I'm not going to bother, because that's just kind of annoying. But yeah, this this fittest champion, whatever the hell it's called, the, the dagger we just got is really good in greed mode, because it actually lets champions drop stuff. Which, obviously on a run like this, doesn't matter at all. But um, in a regular run, a regular greed mode run without the D20, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Did I even do a question of the day for this episode? I don't know if I did. I don't know if I did. Just 
here's a, here's an idea. Just make one up in your head and answer it as if I asked it. And then I, I'll be re- What'll be funny is, I won't read these comments properly for like a week and I'll come back and I'll be so goddamn confused at your guys' answers. It'll make no sense to me. And it, that already happens quite a lot. Like, I'll see an answer and I'll have to re-watch the start of the video to, to understand what you were replying to. So sometimes it's a bit confusing. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. But um, yeah, if, if you just reply to a, a, a question I didn't even ask, just make up your own question and everyone's got different ones, I'm going to be so confused. So if you want to really confuse me, do that. Oh, hello. Now, now, big boy. You are deaded. Dirky. We got one guy with flight now, it's annoying. Right, anyways. To the next floor. I want to actually be able to see my items this floor, please. I don't know why I'm getting two curses some floors. Is it because this, uh... I can't see him again. You're kidding me. This is so unfair. This is not how I expected this to be going. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Cube of meat. Did not mean to grab that, but we grabbed it anyways. One character having flight is just so frustrating. I don't think we need to do much more game breaking anyways, to be honest. I think we're probably good. I'm going to hold off until the floor where I can at least see what's going on. If that ever happens. Doesn't seem likely. Doesn't seem super likely. I do like Black Moon though. Black Moon's very good. Apparently, I've got enough luck for it to be triggering pretty much all the time. Good for us on that front. Yeah, I could say, I'd say for the starting trinkets of these guys, I do like the additional power, but I'd say probably give one person twins and one person um, the broken glasses rather than giving them both, both of them. I think that's definitely erring on the side of too strong. Because I do want them to be stronger, no doubt. No doubt. These characters deserve to be stronger because they're, they're otherwise wholly unfun to play. But this is definitely a bit a bit on the stronger side. But I don't mind that. Like like I said, it's 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 not it's not a complete like bad thing. It's just yeah, in my personal opinion, we could tweak it a little bit the other way. Boss is really really annoying. I get hit by him all the time, and he has a lot of invincibility too potentially. This mean old Grinch here. Black Moon doing some good stuff there. Sulfur. Um, I think I'll take it over Blank Card. Although Blank Card is incredible. Although Blank Card is incredible, Sulfur's going to be better. For the actual boss fight. And I don't think like I said I'm gonna game break anymore, to be honest, at this point. Hey! I love the golden penny mod. So good. Black candle! Oh baby. Okay, now I regret my decision. Whoa! Plus 50 coins. Well, that was nice. Oh, don't don't all be actives now. Don't don't be a bitch. Get out of the way, fires. Oh, okay. Um. Give me sulfur back. 
Go to the next floor. Okay, cool. Let's go to the next floor. We have a battery charge there. It's fine. Yeah, let's just go to the next floor and see how things go there. Okay, secret room straight away. Double secret room? What? What? Not that's useful to us, but that's something I haven't seen before. Interesting. Um, okay. Now that we can't get curses, it might be worth doing a little bit of uh, min-maxing here on this floor. So just get a bunch more items. Oh, I forgot we had BFF as well. BFF is uh, making twins even better. Stay back down here. Everything's spawning at the top at the minute. Say that and they spawn at the bottom. Black Moon into a spawn to insta-kill him is very nice. You can see all the extra drops we're getting as well from that item that makes champions drop stuff. Right, done with that. Boss phase now. Oh, I love the rework of this guy. Visually, at least. I don't really know what his attacks are like. I'm not entirely sort of sure on how much better his attack patterns are because I haven't really seen them all. But visually, he looks so much better. Okay, so we are going to go and pop this. Um, yeah, unfortunately, this guy's always going to steal all the red hearts, which honestly isn't ideal. I didn't really think about that. But he is going to obviously give us some black hearts. So it's not all bad. I mean, he gave us one. Right, so now we're obviously looking for a battery charge here. I'll just get rid of that fire before I hurt myself on it. No battery charge, although the ram's head is good, but I'm going to keep rolling. Keep it rolling. Doesn't work without a battery. God damn it, game. Yeah, the, the batteries just seem to be really rare. Unfortunately, oh, we, I was just about to say, unfortunately, we, we didn't, we're not going to get one, but we did get one. Huzzah. Cool. And then we can go with another one of these on, yeah, that. There you go. Stop fucking stealing all the hearts, you little shithouse. That's going to be so annoying. I've got to be so quick to make sure he doesn't steal all the goddamn hearts. I gotta say, you bet. How how would you take that many hearts and you to pay out twice? Shit. Dude, you need to stop trying to take all the hearts, please. can have some of them, but not all of them. Ow. School bag? Something useful, I guess. Right. To be fair, even with him stealing the hearts, it's not been too bad. Okay, can we get all the shit out of the way of the door, please? Keep accidentally picking crap up, because it's all just lodged next to the door. I don't even need those trinkets anymore, either, so... Spin down. I will take it. Um, keep this going. They yeah, were losing stuff because he keeps eating it all. Frick. 
just eating half of our rewards. You need to fucking stop, my guy. That. That. Why is there so many cards in the fucking doorway? Is this Dark Bum just spreading shit all over the place? I think it is, isn't it? I'm not getting many chests as well. That's another thing that's not great. Stop putting pills in front of the door, you twat. He's really annoying me, honestly. Dark Bum's, like, making me sad. Just needs to leave it be. That was such a bad payout from that thing. Okay, what the hell? Damn, good, good. Okay, we've not really ended up with much money here. I think I think he's actually causing like our profit margins to be a lot less than they should be. He's just eating so much of the extra stuff we're getting. I think I'm gonna have to take the L on this one. Just just leave it be, because yeah, we're not we're not making any money. He's just he's just eating everything. Oh, it's because there's two of them as well. Fuck's sake. Never wanted this. I should not have picked him up. Yeah, I got one item out of all of that, so th th that was all worthless. Anyways. Cool. Good to go. Good to go. Should be able to kill this guy pretty easily as well. Nice. We do... Do that. We're gonna double our damage and then do that, which is gonna give us brimstone. Pop a brimstone, I kinda of forgot we had that. Okay. Overall damage output should be decent here. I think pop brimstone is decent. Don't know why I had a holy mantle there, but thank you. Yeah, it means we can kind of cover the room in, in shots as well. Not doing as much damage as I thought we'd be doing to him, to be honest. I thought he'd kind of get destroyed here. We have a blue rotten baby. Is that from, um... What's it called? Buddy in a box. I'm guessing it is. Okay, the Dark Moon is just killing all of those guys. Nice. The Dark Moon is so, so goddamn strong. The, like, the, the circles last a good while, and they're huge, and they do pretty good damage. It's overall pretty good stuff. I mean, you can see how large that one is. And I think it'll lay, lay one down when he dies as well. Yeah, it will, but unfortunately, it won't mean anything, because he won't spawn in quick enough to take damage. We should be able to kill this guy really fast on this phase. He has a lot less health. Try and pick up the pennies before he does. Love the way I just got hit multiple times there straight away. I'm hoping my battery maybe gives me a battery at some point so I can get double brimstone, but 
It's not ne a necessity. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Oh god, he's he's jumping all over the goddamn shop. It's okay, we got plenty of HP. It's really hard to see my other guy's tears because I got that lemon thing that makes our tears smaller. Lemon head, whatever it's called. There's so much money about him. I'm surprised he's not like going for it all. Anyway, so we got him killed. Nice. Probably made that easier with the Trinket mod. And I'll see if I can talk to the developer about slight balancing. But we got Genesis unlocked. I'm very happy about that. And Inner Child as well. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.